What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. First and foremost, I want to say that I hope all of you are staying safe and sane indoors. It's truly crazy times out there. But I still got a new video for you and since we are cooped up at home, I thought we could do one about online shopping. So what I've got for you today are three different looks from Farfetch. Farfetch is an online luxury retailer. They deliver to 190 countries and the pieces you shop there don't actually just come from the brands. They also come from small boutiques around the world. These boutiques are getting added visibility on the website right now, so if you shop from them, you are actually supporting small businesses in these trying times, and you can save 10% while you do it with the code ODSFF10. This video is sponsored by Farfetch, but as always, I wouldn't promote or show you guys anything that I wouldn't actually go out and buy myself. With those three looks, I'm hoping to give you guys some spring outfit inspiration, and we're gonna be styling those three looks with three different luxury watches so you guys can get even more inspiration in terms of how to style a particular style of watch with the outfit of your choosing. So let's get started and let me pop on the first jacket. Jacket is on, but I wanna start talking about the wrist on my watch first. It is a Navy Ulysse Nardin Freak X and I honestly absolutely love this watch. This watch doesn't actually have any hands. The central bridge acts as the minute indicator and there's an extra wheel that indicates the hour of the day, so I think that design in itself is beautiful. The navy face and the navy leather strap against the chromium case I think is a really nice combination and overall it makes that watch very, very versatile. It's definitely got classy elements, but it's also a bit more sporty and that's exactly the inspiration we're gonna be taking, aside from the color, for the rest of the outfit. Let's talk about the shoes first. We got a pair of white sneakers from Golden Goose with a white star tonal, so it's very subtle, and then a little bit of a blue accent towards the back. Like I said, playing off the blue color scheme that the watch sets for this outfit. Then we've got a pair of tan Department 5 chinos that I really, really love. These have not seen a tailor, they just fit really, really well. Nice and lightweight, perfect for the spring. Up top, we've got a light blue knitted shirt from Z Zenya. Feels amazing, it's super comfortable, really nice and breathable, and it's got a really nice length that you don't actually have to tuck in your shirt, but it works really well tucked in as well. I'm going for a bit more of a casual vibe, thus the shirt is untucked. And up top, I'm wearing a sunflower denim jacket to make it a lot more rugged, and overall a bit more casual, a little bit of sporty, but definitely also a little bit of elegance in there, trying to get that inspiration from the watch. The links to shop all of these pieces are down below in the description. I wanna hop into the next look now. This look, as you can see, is a lot more on the street style side of things. And with this look, I'm wearing my stainless steel Piaget Polo S watch. I'm wearing it for one particular reason, because I wanna show you that something that looks inherently very classy can also work really, really well. And something that's a lot more relaxed, a lot more rugged, a lot more street style. When I first got this watch, I wore it a lot with suits and I wore it with polo shirts and just knitted shirts like in the first look. But eventually I started trying this look out with biker jackets, with hoodies, with sweatshirts, with a lot of different things and it just worked. So I think a stainless steel watch is something that is very, very versatile. And in this look, it just adds a little pop. Let's talk about the outfit itself. Up top, we've got a Les Hommes black sweatshirt with a Velcro detail of the designer name right here and then a really cool pocket down here. Not sure if I'll actually use it, but I love, I love, I love pockets as details in terms of design on things. I've mentioned that a couple times on the channel, but for those of you who watch regularly, you'll know. And on the lower half, I'm just wearing a pair of ripped gray jeans that I thought worked really well, so keeping it achromatic and a little bit of color down below with the Adidas high top sneakers. Absolutely love those. I think they look really, really beautiful. They're not too bulky, not too slim, kind of in between. Overall, almost an entirely achromatic outfit, just a little bit of color and then a bright pop with the watch on my wrist. Now before you say anything, I know this is not a summer outfit. This is spring inspiration. For those of you that are living in places that's already very hot, Please be patient, there's more summer content coming very, very soon. The third look is already the last look for this quick spring inspiration and outfit watch combination video. And as you can see, it is definitely the most rugged look that we've had so far. Inspired by the watch on my wrist, a Bell & Ross belly tanker, 41 millimeter steel case with a brown leather strap and then a beautiful gold cream face. A chronograph, which chronographs are my absolute favorite personally. But this watch, as you can see, is definitely, it's got a very rugged vibe. It's still clean and polished, but there's just some warmth to it, some earth tones. So I took those earth tones and I put them into an outfit. Up top, we've got a Stone Island sweater in olive green. Really nice, somewhat breathable. This is something that I would put on like if I'm heading to the beach late at night, which hopefully we can go outside by the time summer is actually here. On my feet, we've got a pair of Marcel boots. 
No, they're not spelled like my name. They're spelled M-A-R-S-E-L-L, -L, a French brand. And all of the shoes that I saw from Marcel on Farfetch were absolutely on fire. These boots are the ones that stuck with me the most. I would recommend sizing down a bit. These are 43 and I am usually a 43, but they fit a bit large, so I would size down at least half a size, maybe a full size. Finishing the look off with a pair of diesel jeans. These are the slim Thomer fit with patches on the left leg, just minimal distressing in a nice medium blue. As I've told you guys many times before, I consider denim or blue in a denim as a neutral color, so I wouldn't necessarily think of this as earth tones plus blue. It's earth tones plus denim, and thus it's a bit more natural and a bit more easily combined, I'd say. And that already wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the three beautiful watches and hopefully three great outfits. Let me know if you guys agree down below in the comment section. If you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down there. I'll be browsing through it. I hope once again that all of you are staying safe and sane indoors. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye y'all.